Hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine, swing right on in my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm going to sit there and show you just how easy it is to make your very own CBD Starburst candy. So, be sure to grab a hold of that vine and swing right on to my kitchen so we can get cooking. Good looking. Hey, good looking. Are you ready to make some Starburst CBD candy? Great. Let's jump right on in and let's get started with our recipe. You're going to sit there and need a saucepan. Now, I'm using a glass one. It doesn't matter what type of a saucepan that you use. Use a saucepan. Now, we're going to sit there and in this saucepan that I have here, we're going to have to sit there and mix two and a half cups of sugar and that's what I have in this measuring cup so go ahead dump that in and then to the two and a half cups of sugar I have three tablespoons of cornstarch now we're gonna sit there and add the cornstarch right straight to the sugar mixture that we have down inside. Now I'm going to grab a whisk. What we're going to do, we're going to mix the cornstarch into the sugar. And we're just going to sit there and whisk until there are no lumps to be seen. Okay, now that we have all the lumps out of our sugar and our cornstarch, we're going to sit there and add one cup of corn syrup. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, folks, before I added my corn syrup in my measuring cup here, I sprayed it. That way, it will come out of my measuring cup that much easier. And I won't have to sit there and spread or take so much time with my spatula getting a lot of it up and out. It comes out really slick. So. I mean, do you see how most of it came out? Now, if I didn't sit there and do that, most of that would still be stuck to the sides. Even after I took a spatula to it. So, if you do that little tip and trick, you'll get most of your corn syrup right out of your measuring cups. Now, let's go ahead, put this down to the side, and I'm going to grab one and one-thirds cup of water, and we're going to add that. There's the one-third. Now, let's add the one cup and I have two tablespoons of butter that we're going to add as well now I'm going to sit there take this whole mixture that's all in the saucepan here and we're going to sit there take it over to the stove and we're going to and another thing that you might want to have prepared ahead of time is some sheets that you're going to sit there and pour this hot liquid all out on. Be sure to sit there and spray it with no cook cooking spray or get a splat sheet. One of them silicone uh, baking sheets. Now, before we take it over to the stove, let's just quick give this a mix. And I want to sit there and talk about a few other things that we have to have ready to go. And that would be, you would need two packages of Kool-Aid flavoring. Well, I chose 
two different types because I'm going to be taking my Starburst syrup here or my candy and I'm going to sit there and divide it up into two pans and I'm going to have two different flavorings. Now, you're going to be needing either a candy thermometer, a digital thermometer. So, I'm going to quick give this a stir and off to the stove over medium high heat and we're going to keep stirring it until this comes up to a boil. Okay, here we go. It's starting to come up to a boil. We want a full boil. Okay, stop stirring. Now you're going to want a temperature of 250. We're getting close. It's inching closer and closer and closer. But no salami yet. Remember, we want to bring this up to 250. Okay, it's starting to go a little bit faster right now. We're at 245. Get ready and we're going to shut her down as soon as it reaches 250. And we're going to remove it right away from the heat. We're at 248, 250. Okay, we removed it from the heat. I sprayed my ladle because I'm going to remove half of the Starburst candy mixture here and put it into another dish. And I'm going to mix in one of the packets of Kool-Aid flavoring into that one. And then what's left in this pan, I'm going to mix the Kool-Aid <laughs> flavoring in be with that one. But I jumped way ahead of the game. We got to back it up a little bit. I'm sorry. I got a little excited there, but... <laughs> We're going to have to sit there and add the 300 milligrams of your CBD oil to all this and mix it up. Then we're going to divide it up. So let's go ahead and get with the program and let's add... CBD oil first before we divide it up. Put a few drops all throughout and then we're just going to sit there and mix this all up. I'll see you when I'm all done mixing this all up and be sure to give it a good mixing just don't give it a few twirls around in the pan you're going to want to sit there and make sure you have all that cbd oil all distributed throughout the starburst candy all right i'm confident that i mixed it up enough now i have a ladle that i already sprayed with some cooking spray and we're going to remove half of this starburst candy mixture and we're going to put it into another bowl so I'm going to grab some of the starburst mixture Sit there, open up the Sharkleberry thin packet of Kool-Aid, and I'm going to sit there and add it to what I put into the bowl. Now I have my little 
spatula and I, we're just going to sit there and mix this all into the Starburst candy. And as you see there is a real nice kind of pink coloring. I have my packet of orange Kool-Aid. Let's go ahead, open that up. And we're going to sit there and add that to the pan and we're going to mix that all in. So I'll be back when we're all done mixing this orange Kool-Aid all into this uh, saucepan. Alright, I have my sprayed prepared pans and now we're just going to go down and pour the saucepan into one and we're going to sit there and pour the one that we have of the other flavoring into the other prepared baking sheet. So let's grab the bowl and spread that all out onto our prepared baking sheet. And I'm going to do the same thing with the orange in the saucepan. And we're going to let it cool until it's just enough for us to handle. Now, we're just going to allow this to cool off enough for us to handle it because we're going to have to sit there and do a few things before it's the Starburst candy. And also, get yourself out some uh, wax paper and we're going to sit there and cut them up into little strips. Now, here comes the fun part. You're going to have to sit there, put some butter on your hands, and make sure your hands are well buttered. And before you even attempt to touch the Starburst candy here, I want you to go down on top of it and see if your hand's going to be able to take the heat that it's at. Because if you can't do that, it's too hot. So, and you're going to want some wax pieces of paper that are already pre-cut, ready for when we're all done, sitting there stretching our Starburst candy. So, like I said, you're going to want your hands pretty well buttered up, because believe me, this is some sticky stuff. Now, I don't know about you now. If you've ever been in a sticky situation, you know how sticky it can be. <laughs> so, I'm just going to sit there and grab some of this. You don't have to grab a lot. And we're just going to pull. And we're going to pull, and we're going to pull, and we're going to pull. Just like what, I don't know, if you ever had a salt water taffy pull with your family. I know we've done it several times with my grandparents. And it's pretty fun to do. But it's more fun and more delicious when you get to eat it in the end. So just keep stretching and folding this candy all on itself. Like I say, it's gonna, it's sticky. But just keep stretching. And then you're gonna start noticing it's gonna start changing and taking on a lighter color. And now the reason why that is, it's because you're introducing 
air to the candy. I'm going to put some more butter because I don't like how it's sticking to me. Okay, I put more butter on my hands. Like I say, it's a sticky situation. And we're going to pull. We're going to stretch. Pull. Stretch. And st okay. Now, I didn't pull it all. I left some unpulled. These are the ones that I pulled. And these are the ones that I did not pull. Now, let's go ahead and just kind of divide these all up and we're going to sit there and put them in to our wax papers. Now what I do, I'll take a half teaspoon measuring spoon and I'll sit there and spray it lightly with some cooking spray. Then I'll just come down here and I'll just kind of Grab up what I would think would be a half teaspoon. Okay, that's a half teaspoon right there. Now go ahead and I'd roll that into a ball and shape it into a log. I'm going to grab a sheet of wax paper. I'm going to sit there and grab our Starburst candy and I'm going to commence rolling it like a cup. Okay, my papers here are a little too big. So I'm just going to sit there and cut my papers that I already have here and simply cut them in half. Now let's redo that. We're going to grab one of our wax papers. We have our half of a teaspoon and now we're just going to come down to the Starburst candy mixture and we're going to fill the inside like that. We're going to take that. We're going to roll it into a ball somewhat. Then we're going to sit there and just roll it into a log. Take our little wax piece of paper we're going to put that all in, roll that all up, and then we're going to sit there and twist the ends. So we'll be back. Now who would have thought making your very own CBD Starburst candy could be that easy? Well, I just showed you that it was. So if you liked what you saw here today, please help me spread the word on my channel. Give me a big old thumbs up. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please come on over to my channel at YouTube. And be sure to click on that subscribe button. Tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put on a new video. And as always, here's to happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now. Be here and have yourselves a great day.